Hi Squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing another challenge video and um, I found these uh, Sharpie, I assume highlighters in like some random box and I'm pretty sure my husband's had these unopened for like six years. So I figured why not nab them and just go ahead and do a Sharpie highlighter challenge. Um, I've kind of seen these highlighter challenges everywhere so I decided I would go ahead and do that so we can I suppose open these up they haven't been opened since they've been purchased which has been forever ago so I will do the honors of opening well there's one if you can't tell I suck at opening things there we go so the colors we got are orange yellow blue and pink I'm excited to see what monstrosity I can color and create, and yeah, that's enough for the intro, so let's get into the speed paint. So these actually worked relatively well. Um, I decided to go with a sort of cell shading approach to this, so I just kind of blocked in color using white for the main highlights, so the white of the paper. I did use my watercolor paper for this because I figured um, these would eat at the paper, which they did, but it wasn't as much as if it had been with like... A cheaper or less durable paper. Um, I really had fun with this and I actually liked working with these highlighters a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I want to let you guys know that this is a relatively short speed paint. Um, I didn't really do anything super fast. They actually mix really well though. Um, I could get a really nice purple mixing red and or pink and blue and I got a nice green using yellow and blue. Um, of course there was already orange so I didn't have to worry about that, but I just decided to do a little portrait. Um, I actually like the way this came out, the drawing and the picture, but I plan on doing a speed paint of this picture, maybe in oils or acrylic, I haven't decided which yet. Um, but for like a different kind of speed paint, so not a challenge because I like the general idea and I thought it was really cute. So yeah. So anyway guys, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a comment down below and let me know what challenge I should do for next month. Also don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also check out my art store. All of my links are down in the description below. And until next time guys, toodaloo! Alright, next up is the shirt. And it's got some kind of foreign language it's gonna be really difficult for me to show you guys what this looks like 